So I want to unmask uh, what, what I call qualitative data. And qualitative data, uh, I wanted to pick, pick kind of a cliched term for it, data of the heart. And I'm calling it data of the heart today because when we talk about human behavior, uh, we've got one of the most complex data sets or data models. Uh, that is why people do things, what they do, how they do things. So we can see here from this example, uh, people reading uh, the newspaper on the train uh, in, in the US in the 1950s. Um, but when we think about the why they're doing that, we can see the same kinds of behavior uh, now with people on trains, albeit through uh, mobile devices. And the key thing uh, about this is that oftentimes technology might not change behavior. In fact, behavior might transcend t time and technology. Um, but I still haven't defined what qualitative uh, means for you guys. For us, it means primarily talking to humans. And one of the things that's often leveled against qualitative research is that um, isn't it less scientific? And why do people ask that? Particularly from the more quantitative areas, it's because, uh, we, yes, we deal uh, with smaller sample sizes. But I'd argue that um, qualitative research, for what we do at least, um, is the only way if we want to understand behavior, if we want to understand what's going on in people's heads and what's going on in people's hearts, so how they feel about things. But ultimately, our goal is to seek meaning, just like it is in data science from a big, big data, a complex data set. We want to seek meaning. Uh, our process looks something like this. So again, this is probably quite similar at some level of abstraction to what data scientists do. We try and define the research question. We select the most appropriate approach. We gather the data from various data sets. And then we analyze and synthesize that data or model it. So really, it's about going from research to informed action. Okay? In our case, informed action might be a, a strategy, uh, or a design, or a feature. So let's try and make that a little bit more um, concrete. 